Many effects and algorithms in Atom Montage Engine are very selective multi LOD error driven solutions. The engine tries to save as much of the available resources as is possible in the particular situations. Uh, for example, here we have the casts of shadow and we have the indirect illumination. It's mostly here. Uh, I have to enhance it so we actually see it. And I will change the color of the vehicle. Okay, so uh, the engine applies these expensive effects only on those segments of voxels where the effects are really useful, in this case visible. Um, I can show you the segments. Okay, these flashing stripes, it's actually cubes. These are the segments and the engine applies many expensive effects only on those segments where uh, they are really useful and the segments can be of different sizes. So some algorithms require much smaller segments, other can require segments uh, 100 meters in size. It's not only this uh, selectivity that applies the effects carefully where they are really necessary. It's also that the particular data is processed on that LOD that is most useful in that situation. In this case, it means that the effects are using um, they are using um, samples, and the number of samples is adjusted based on the based on the available resources and. Uh, the required quality, for example. And it's also the volumetric data model. I can show the LDs. Okay. These are some of the LDs of the voxelized data. And the engine processes basically everything on multiple LODs or on one LOD that is the best LOD in that situation. And it's the same for the voxels, it's the same for the samples and it's the same for the physics for example. The time axis is cemented in a similar way so that uh, some objects are simulated on different steps than the others and the difference can be pretty high. So uh, there is also a error driven processing of these effects. Uh, we don't really see it but uh, there are small groups of voxels and the engine saves calculations there. Uh, it applies the calculations so that uh, the number of calculations depends on the on the resulting error. If the error is very low, then it applies a particular calculation on a larger group of voxels. Uh, I can change the error, and we see these artifacts. So it would be pretty okay if the vehicle was maybe 200 meters away. We wouldn't see these artifacts, but. In this case it's pretty bad, so I can set it back and we see no artifacts. Uh, still, uh, there is some error and the engine saves maybe 70% of resources this way. I can turn the feature off and now the feature is really expensive. Um, I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't be possible to apply this effect to maybe 10 or 20 vehicles now with this setting. So this error driven approach 
makes um, pretty expensive algorithms um, quite useful. And that's especially important now as these effects are currently CPU based and there are prototypes that have to be <laughs> changed to a GPU solution. But the fact that it is a selective multi LOD error driven approach um, makes these prototypes quite useful and the engine performs really well no matter that the effects are very slow. So it's necessary to to do things this way as with billions of voxels and you know in future in future games will require maybe hundreds of billions of atoms. Uh, no such technology would really work in real time if it was not a, a multi-LD solution with uh, error-driven processing.